I joined the Royal Air Force in the early 80s. Then in the build-up to the first Gulf War, I suffered a spinal cord injury. And then I was med discharged in 1993. Over the next 20 odd years, I just took more and more painkillers and ended up on fentanyl and a couple of other drugs like that. And I also got to the stage where I was drinking a bottle of whiskey a day. 2014, I saw the first Invictus Games advertised. Sounded interested, I needed some to focus on and try and get my life straight. So I signed up for that, won a gold medal. Prior to that, my whole focus had been on what I'd lost, the fact I couldn't do my military career, I couldn't play rugby, everything was the negative. Invictus taught me that there's no point worrying about what you can do and to focus on the positive and what you can do. I'm a para-athlete and explorer. I was injured in January 2019 through a traumatic incident that saw me shot numerous times and received blast and fragmentation injuries to my upper torso and both arms. So during lockdown last year, pretty difficult time for myself recovering from the injuries. I joined the Invictus Foundation. They were doing some challenges virtually. I'd not long bought a concept to a rowing machine and I thought, you know, what a great opportunity. Started the race quite strong and it said that Ben Gallagher had finished fourth worldwide and first for Great Britain and had bagged a British record. And that's where Invictus had changed the dynamics and realised that people needed that focus whilst in lockdown or whilst going through their rehab programme. You know, what a fantastic opportunity.